Welcome to episode 156 of Southern Gospel Now, your weekly look at some of the happenings in Southern Gospel music. I'm Greg Goodman. Southern Gospel Now is made possible by daywind.com, where you'll find Southern Gospel music and soundtracks. You'll recall that Jordan Lefevre was injured in a firefighter training exercise months ago. It has been a long recovery journey, but Jordan says that the end is in sight. As of late, I'm actually at the end. I've got two more therapy sessions left. I'll be going back to the doctor, and we're going to kind of come up with a plan from there. But I believe that he'll be releasing me from their extensive care and watch. But, you know, God's been faithful. The worst thing that I can say about it is now I can tell when it's going to rain and going to get cold. But uh, I've seen God working through this. And, you know, sometimes God's got to set you down for a little while and you've got to reprioritize things in your life. And I've really got a whole new appreciation for even just being able to walk around my home and things like that. God's been faithful. This is such good news for Jordan. Tim Menzies had a great career in country songwriting before he received the calling to focus his efforts in a Christian direction. Tim talks about that transition and how his Christian songwriting and performing developed from there. Got together 10 of my favorite songs I had written over the years, and I called Ben, and he was eager to do it, and we recorded the first album miraculously, and there's no other explanation. It got nominated for a Grammy, Mm -hmm. and then churches started inviting me to their churches. And that's when I understand that I wasn't writing country songs, but I understood what the what the new calling was, and it was, in fact, a calling and a ministry. Then I did a second album, and now the third one, he reminds me. As I have traveled and sung at the churches, I would think about subjects that I would like to have the next time I come back to this church. And that happened on the second and third album, but especially on this third one where the Lord blessed me with those songs. The current hit from the Hoppers is God of a Second Chance. Kim Hopper gives us the story behind the song. God is a God of a Second Chance. It's, um, wow, an amazing song. J. Michael Wilson wrote, and he's written several songs for the Hoppers through the years. He brought this CD to me several years ago, and he said, there's a song on here I want you to listen to. And I kept thinking, okay, I'll get to that one. I'll get to it. And Dean and I were traveling, I think, to the beach. Uh, Just the two of us were in the car. So we put the CD in, and we started listening to that. And like I said, I'd probably had the CD for over a year because J. Michael was giving us all the songs that he had written recently. And so Dean and I kept going back to that song, God is a God of a Second Chance. We could not get that melody and that message out of our head. And we talked about it, and I said, Dean, this is something that people need to hear today more than ever before. Every Tuesday night, The Sound goes live on Facebook. Jacob and Levi Mills talk about how this has been a consistent part of their ministry for many years. 2018 Um, was the first time we did the Facebook Live. Yep. We kind of established it as a weekly series. And then through COVID, that really helped us a lot because we stayed in touch with with any of our fans and things. And And that was really before Instagram Live and TikTok. It really took off, and so we would be live on Facebook, and we were able to put a lot of time into that because of COVID. You know, we would, I mean, we would do half an hour, 45-minute Facebook Lives every Tuesday night with a lot of different music and a lot of different cover stuff, and we had a lot of time through the week to do arrangements, but more recently, because of our living situation where, you know, we've been in Nashville, Dad's been in Michigan, and even here in Nashville, Jake and I are about half an hour apart. It hasn't been quite as feasible to try and do a big Facebook Live video every Tuesday night, and so we've kind of condensed it down where we still make an appearance. It's not quite the in-depth video that it was a couple of years ago, but we still try to make an appearance and try to do stuff. But when we can't do it, they've been very, very understanding. Scotty Emma may be a soloist, but he says he isn't alone on stage. You know, a lot of people think I go on the road I'm all by myself. The truth is, I usually have at least one, a lot of times two guys with me on the road. And so I'm not alone on the road or on stage. I have guys playing and singing. When I started this, I didn't want it to be just me up there. I wanted to have a live band aspect to what I did. I think it fits the style of music I do. Of course, I play uh, acoustic guitar. I bring some musicians with me as well. So I just really enjoy that. And it gives gives people something else to look look at other than just, just me. The latest song from the Gaither vocal band is Revival Broke Out. Todd Suttles of GVB talks about this infectious song. You know, Revival Broke Out, I mean, you got things that take place in life. 
And sometimes we get twisted. I mean, you got families that don't speak to each other for a while. You got friends that just one little thing. But when revival breaks out, when the God steps in, and the good news of the gospel is that he changes everything. And so that, that, that that's, that's, that's why I love re revival broke out. Well before Deborah Perry developed her own ministry as Deborah Perry and Jaden's Call, she was a part of the Perrys. She shares how that group began. On that first Christmas after the loss of our brother, Johnny, we gathered around the piano, which was Christmas Day. And so a lot of our family and friends came over and I had just started playing the piano. And so we gathered in the little living room and we all started singing. And I heard a voice that I had never heard before. I was facing the wall, so I couldn't see everybody standing around me. And I knew that I had never heard that voice before. And so I turned around, and it was my brother, Randy. And I was just shocked because he had never sang a lick and was singing like an adult. I, we were just all just in shock. The singing that day was certainly what we needed, and it was it somehow lightened the load of the sorrow that we were feeling. And that's what started the Perrys. So we were known for many years as the Perry children. And then when we got into our teens, we changed our name to the Singing Perrys. And of course, later on, we changed the name to the Perrys. Time for a look at the top songs of the week from the Power 50 chart. Number five. God is listening. Triumphant Quartet. God is listening. Number four. My God, Scotty Inman. My God, the great and mighty king who reigns on high. Number three. There's a song for that. Down East Boys. And there's a song for that. Number two. There is a name. Lefevre Quartet. There is a name that makes the mountains tremble. Heaven is happening, the Guardians. Heaven is happening here on earth. I said heaven is happening here on earth. That's our report for this week. If you missed episodes of Southern Gospel Now, you can go back and listen to all 156 episodes wherever you find podcasts or at southerngospelnow.com. Southern Gospel Now is made possible in part by southerngospelprizes.com. You can currently register to win Triumphant Quartet's forthcoming project, God is Listening. Registration and details at southerngospelprizes.com. I'm Greg Goodman. Be sure to love your neighbor, and I'll see you back here next week for another edition of Southern Gospel Now.